you feel attracted you to graffiti? Was it the danger? Was it the art? It was definitely both. So at the time I was living on the border of the city of Burbank and we were skateboarding kids and we were getting busted and we were like getting taken home and they wanted to give us tickets for skateboarding all the time. And I'm like, man, we're not even doing anything wrong. And so a lot of the skateboarding kids that I kicked it with, including Pat, was also a graffiti guy, a tagger. And it was just like the mischievous side of shit. We'd steal spray cans and fucking go around the neighborhood stealing or riding in the alleys. But then when I got to junior high and I discovered like the subway art book and I saw the graffiti around the school and there was like the CBS guys in the neighborhood, they turned me on to the art side of things. And it was super exciting. It was like... To me, it was kind of an extension to like, when I was younger in elementary, I was into skateboarding and boogie boarding and like surfing, like the California shit. So like graffiti to me was like the visual expression of that rebellious youth culture. Cause you know, skateboarding and surfing and all that now is like mainstream and like, oh, I want to be a skateboarder. But when I was a kid, it was not a career, it was not a job. It was definitely like what the bad kids did. You know, so it was just kind of part of an extension of like what the underground kids did or the non-mainstream kids did, you know? Is this around the same time that you start your journey as a DJ? Uh, no, you know, I, was, I started going to raves again when I was young, like 12 years old. And I definitely, you know, I got into the habit of going every week when I was in the middle of junior high and in through high school. So by the time we were wrapping up high school, me and my best friends from high school started throwing raves. And we, we throwing raves became a pretty regular thing. We probably did like maybe 10 and like... 97, 98, and 99, we just kept doing it and doing it and doing it. And I always had a love of music and I started collecting vinyl really early on, but I didn't actually get like behind the decks and start DJing in public. Well, I, I probably got my decks in 95, but I didn't really have a mentor and it took a while to just try to figure it out on my own. But I probably got my first gig and played in public for the first time in like 1997 or 98. And then it became a fairly regular thing. I, I had a hookup at a record distributor, so I would get all the white labels and all the promo shit weeks before everybody else. So people wanted to book me because they knew I had all the new shit, you know? So I kind of had this weird foot in the door. I loved the music. I was, you know, decent at it. But, uh, you know, I had to put that on the back burner because I had to focus on my art. What sparked your transition from DJing to graffiti? Uh, it wasn't so much a transition. I just had my foot in both worlds and what I realized I was speaking to some elders at the time I was in junior college and I was uh, graduating and transferring to a UC and at the time uh, Some elders were telling me I, I would like I would explain like oh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a music guy and an art guy and they'd say well even if you give a hundred percent of yourself to art and music that's only 50 50 and if that's only 50%, you're not gonna get as far as you need to go. So you need to pick a lane. And as much as I didn't want to, because I thought I was doing fairly successful in both, I realized that picking a lane was the right path. And uh, I, I thought about, you know, do I wanna be on call every Friday and Saturday night for the rest of my life? Do I wanna be like 40 years old, still at the club fucking doing it? Or would I rather have a studio practice that's on my terms, on my time? Like if I wake up on Saturday, I wanna do it and I do it. Or if I don't, I don't have to, you know? So I very much feel I picked what made the most sense. And now I'm getting back into music and I don't feel like, I don't feel like a fake, like, oh, you're just getting into music. Cause I've been into music the whole time. I've been collecting it and I always practice for myself in my room anyway, you know what I mean? So now I'm putting myself out there a little bit more on the music because I feel like I am, I've made a stable presence for myself in the art where I feel like I can go back and hobby a little bit with the music shit. In the early days, was it hard to be taken serious as a former DJ who began writing? Uh, no, uh, fortunately, you know, people in the DJ world already knew me as a graffiti writer. I never stopped doing the graffiti, although I split my focus, I was still bombing. I would do a DJ gig and then go paint a spot later that night. So I never stopped doing the graffiti. And uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't really much of a transition. It was both were very organic at the time and I just kind of gave up one. I mean, people definitely in the music community were like, yo, you should still play and do shit, but that, that wasn't my focus anymore.